What is going on, everybody? My name is Superman Parts, and welcome back to another episode of PokeQuest. Today, I have added in a few new mods. Obviously, one, I added in Zan's minimap. I think that's what it's called. Uh, two, I have added in a mod that, um, basically, well, I'll show you that in a second, but another one that adds in colorful armors. So, I'm going to be dyeing my diamond armor today. Uh, I haven't picked a color. I'm thinking white diamond armor. Uh, that's what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. Or maybe um, blue kind of looks purplish and light blue looks like the normal. I might go black. Black looks kind of cool. Uh, turquoise obviously looks just pretty much the same. Um, green looks pretty cool. Red looks pretty cool. Uh, but I think I'm going to go with white. So if I can go ahead and get some bone meal here. Uh, okay, here we go. And if I can take off my diamond armor here, I have repaired it a little bit because it started to get pretty damaged. I mean, look at how damaged that is. I didn't repair that one. Is it... How do you craft these again? I'm not sure. Um, do I surround it? Does it have to be full? Let's check. It might have to be full. Okay, there we go. So it just needs to be full. So that means that I have to... Um, uh, repair these. So I'm going to have to kill some monsters. Okay, well, let's see what this looks like on me. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Let's see. That looks pretty nice. I like that. I like that. But I think I'm going to go have to go with red. Uh, I like it a lot. It looks pretty cool. But I think that red would be cooler. So, I know usually I'm a blue guy, but I guess I'm going with red now. Uh, the next mod that I added in is Big Trees mod. So, as you can see here, I have made a few trees to my forest. I just basically put all the saplings in and I made new saplings. So, this one is a dead tree. This one right here, uh, I forgot what this one is, but it has it's a uh, spruce big tree. And, uh, obviously, it it's pretty big. Uh, this one is another one. Um... I put them sporadically through. Here's just a tall, regular oak one. Um, where is another one? Uh, you'll be able to see the big, big ones. Here's another tall oak one that I just added in. Um, there should be a tall birch one nearby. Ah, yes. Here's a tall birch one. This one's pretty big uh, compared to the rest. So this is the birch one. It, they will probably drop me a lot of wood. I'm not going to cut them down. Oh, and this is a big oak one right here. Or no, actually, that's just a regular spawn. I forgot. That's just a regular tree spawn. That's how big it is. This one is uh, the great oak tree, which is humongous. So I'm going to show you these ones because these are like the entrance into my area. So that's the great oak. That one's huge. This one is the swamp oak, which is even bigger. So these are like the entrance into my forest. I really like it. It's turning into like Viridian Forest or something. I think that's pretty cool. This one is uh, the hat tree. I think so yeah wow huge 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 and then as you can see the roots go all the way over there um, but yeah I just love the way those look they really give it a cool foresty entrance so if I go ahead and jump over oh I'm in peaceful mode okay let's go back in so there we go now a bunch of monsters are spawning in but yeah see as I go in here it's really cool it's kind of creepy you know I'm in the forest and a lot of mobs spawn in here and continue to spawn in during the day which gives it uh, gives me sort of a reason to come in here uh, and it gives it I don't know it gives it new life which is really cool to me I gotta put something right here I wanna cover up I want it to be sort of a canopy um, area ish so apparently I didn't get a golem before I thought I did but I don't know guess I didn't uh, I have to kill a blaze because blazes are really good um, as when 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 you make them into a uh, mob when you get them i don't know what it's called when you take their shape i don't know i can't think of the word right now uh let's go ahead and get up here and kill this mini golem go uh and i also added in a new bow mod because i don't i realized i don't have any bow and arrows not like a single bow and arrow or i do but they're all damaged and they're not modded so I need to get some more bows, and right now, I can use a fried spider leg. So let's eat this up. Ah, very good. So yeah, definitely really cool with all the stuff that's going on here. Oh wow, he is a uh, big one. I'll kill his buddy first. Um, he's an ender, so he should teleport. 
Yep, there we go. There's the teleportation side of him. Um, skillet scorpion and skeleton. Oh god, a werewolf. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. This is going to take forever. And I'm poisoned, which does not help one bit. Ah, oh, come on, come on. Let's just take him out. Come on. Oh, dang it. Now that we have a horse coming in, the heck. He should be almost dead. Let's let them duke it out for a little bit. Obviously, the werewolf is going to win, but... Oh, wow, the skeleton one. Whoa, what the heck? That was weird. I'm going to go ahead and eat this golden apple just because I can. Uh, can't believe the skeleton one. I guess I did a lot of damage to it, so. Yes, let's heal up here. Love golden apples. Whoa, what, what hat is that creeper wearing? Oh, gosh, we got a silver skeleton. I'm going to have to take him out. Come on, get him. There we go. Shoot, flame wraith. I'm dead now. Or am I? I might be able to make it to the water. If I run fast enough. Come on, make it to the water. Made it. Oh, nice. Oh, jeez. Come on, people. Another silver skeleton. Oh, dang it. He made me drop my sword. Nope, nope. I cannot die without getting my sword. Okay, there we go. Block. Okay. Rise out. All right, I got to get out of here because that was an intense moment right there. I only have six levels, too. If I kill this. Ah, uh... oh, dang it. I died. And it sets my last death point, which I don't really need. So let me go ahead and hit the key. And or cancel. It's M. And then I do waypoints. And I do not need my latest death. So let's go and delete that. Yes. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and sleep the night off. And I'll throw all that stuff in my chest. And then I'll continue to move. Uh, I know which way I was going now from my latest point. Um... Because I watched the video and I figured out which way I was going. So let me go ahead and toss. This is basically the armor chest now. So all the armor will go in there. And this one is all the uh, swords and whatnot. So I also don't need. Thought I had some arrows. Huh. Don't know. Anyway, let me go and toss string, bones, rotten flesh. I don't need redstone. I'm starting to throw that in there because it's no use to go in my chest because I don't want it. So there we go. It's pretty good. Oh, I do have arrows on me. They're right here. There we go. So let me go get some roses real quick uh, so I can dye my new armor. Rose. Oh, dang it, I need one more rose. So yeah, and then I'll be good. But I do want to go into the nether because the nether has a, a lot of really cool mobs that I can take over. So all my stuff is damaged now, which is unfortunate. Got a question mark mob. Uh, of course, all of the ones on this, um, on the radar, it's only showing, as you can tell, it's only showing uh, enemies and NPCs uh, when I got towards my village there. However, I can set it to show Pokemon. I just don't want it to because that would be way too much. Um, so let me go ahead and repair this. Oh, I couldn't even repair it. Oh, wait. What? Repair. Oh, I think it's because it's white diamond. It won't be able to repair it. Shoot. Let's see. Yeah, I can repair those. Can't repair those that much. So that sucks. Um, is there another way to repair them when they're colored? I hope so, because that just means that I am done, and I have to keep them white. And I want to try it red, so... Let's see. Let's go over here. And probably should have taken off this armor because I forgot that it gets damaged. Red? No. This will be red. Okay. There we go. I guess I'm the Mitch mismatched guy. Hooray, I'm mismatched. Whatever. I don't really. It's not that big of a deal. So let me go ahead and slash, uh, oops, slash TP. Gosh dang it. TP super... Oh, I cannot type today. Let me find my keys. I can't find them. Super and pirates. And what was it? I think it was 17. Let me get to my coordinate sheet. 
Uh, yes, it's 1735, so one, that's a two. Let me do it on here. One, seven, three, five, 89, five, four, zero. Nope, that's a negative sign. Uh, backspace, five, four, zero. All right, there we go. Now that I have this in, uh, what? TP super, super vam. Pot, where is the P? Pirates, there we go. Whew, good thing I didn't have to enter that in again. So I came from this direction, which means that yes, I should go this direction, which is good, okay. Oh dang, that's a hefty, oh. What the heck? What just happened? That was weird. Okay. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing ever. Alright, let's keep on moving. Whoa, is that a shiny? Oh, no. I just couldn't see its eyes. We're good. It's not shiny. So we're not good. Because I don't get a shiny Pokemon. Sucks. Wolves don't despawn in the sunlight. All right, let's take out this. Oh, it's a regen? Okay, whatever, it's down anyway. Let's just keep on moving past these guys. And we're still searching for the shrine. So yeah. They are very, like they're just one block. I've seen them now in my uh, inventory thing. So yeah, very small, very hard to get. So I gotta keep my eyes open while looking for them. Um, does not look like there's any in this extreme hills biome. However, here we have a Rhydon, which I would like to fight, because it is a high level, so let's high jump kick it. There we go. Nice, 27 Combuskin. Sweet. Uh, shoot. Well, let's just keep on moving. I know I already tried to explore this area, but, um, I didn't know where I was going, so I didn't really go past it at all. Let's just jump over this, get to another extreme hills biome, forest biome, or it's extreme hills, forest, or finally, what's the last one? I can't remember. Oh, right. Ice biome. So any one of those do. Tongue of dog. Ew. I don't want a dog's tongue. I want some fried spider legs. Yum. Even that's probably just as gross. All right. Let's sprint over here. Hello, Magmar. Wait, what level is he? I might be able to take him down and get some good XP out of him. Oh, nice. Yeah. Let's take him down. And let's go and do Water Pulse. Oh, nice. Didn't even take him down one hit. That means he'll give me a lot of XP. 28. Sweet. I don't want Bulk Up, unfortunately. It's not very helpful for me. Man, that Diglett's hauling. Look at those trails. He's hauling. Oh, and yes, as you can see, the dead trees do spawn in naturally, which is really cool. So, uh, I'll take him down, too. Man, all the magmars are pretty high level. And if I get one of their items, I can evolve it into... Um, can't remember the evolution of magmar. It's just slipping my mind right now. Hello, elephant. I'm going to kill you because you might give me some good XP. Oh, and I'm turning into an elephant. Okay. I'm going to stay as an elephant for a little bit. Wait, what does the neon cat hat look like on him? Ah, dang it, it doesn't go on him. Whatever. Let's cut down some of these trees. These might give me some good wood. Could always use some more wood. Alright, let's cut down that part. No? These don't drop any wood? Th these aren't considered a uh, tree? Dang it. thought these would maybe be considered a tree. I mean, if those things are considered trees... I think these should be considered trees. But yeah, there's a bunch in this uh, biome. Because it's a desert biome, so naturally a lot of dead trees would be there. Oh, hey, look, it's a Quilava. And it's the Pikachu gang again. Hey, Pikachu gang. You guys aren't going to steal my money, are you? All right, thanks, Pikachu gang. Here, uh, one second. I got an email, but that's okay. I'll keep on going searching i think this one should count as a tree i mean it has leaves on it maybe that's why the other ones aren't counted maybe it does because it doesn't have any leaves on it maybe i should like just put a couple leaves on those other ones and then maybe it will work so one sec almost done oh okay yeah no big deal 
Uh, let's go ahead and tear this down. Yes, that does count as a tree. Oh, and it gives me a lot of wood. Which is good. Thank you for the wood. Zombie coming out from behind me. You think you could sneak up on me? Uh, pro obviously not. That wasn't even a probably not. That was an obviously not because you died in the sun. What an idiot. <laughs> he's like, oh, this is my best chance to charge him. Right when he's turned around. Oh, wait, I forgot he's in the sun. Now I'm dead. <laughs> Uh, I don't want any of those trees. Uh, I mean, those ones, but... Let's cut down this... Uh, let's see if this birch one will count. That'd be awesome. Let's see. Birch, birch, birch. Birch! Birch! Give me that birch! Oh, dang. That's a lot of birch wood. Oh, also, uh, there is a trainer editor, which came in a little too late for me, because I already set a plan uh, on the whole uh, gym thing, but... In this object editor, you are allowed to make your own trainer. So uh, that would help if I wanted a gym leader. Unfortunately, I already have something set for the gyms. As you know, I'm going to be my own gym leader. Uh, of course, I could make challengers, probably. That would be that might be cool. So yeah, I could do that. Uh, which it, this really sucks because I was like, I was thinking like, oh man, finally. Uh, I'll, I'll make my own gym and all this stuff, and then it's like, oh, by the way, this just added in. You can make trainers now after I made my plan. If it came before, that'd be sick, because then I could, uh, you know, obviously continue with my plan to make, uh, or I could continue with my first plan to have a gym leader, but alas, it's not working out that way. And we got a, whoa, this is a new village. We got a cemetery and stuff. Let me go ahead and go into my natural form so I can fit into most of these buildings. So let's go into this one. Nothing. This one. Ooh, nice. Oh, ew. Squid torso. Ugh. That's disgusting. Oh, God. I don't want body parts. It's part of the necromancy mod. Okay, there's nothing in these graves. Can I be a grave robber? What are you? Oh, you're a villager. Ew. What are you? Oh, you're also a villager, but you look like um the person from Ruby. Don't know his name. I know I know some of them, but not all of them. Uh, let's see. I'm going to raid all of these houses. Nope. Uh, anything in there? Nope. I'm not even going to go in. Hello, guys. Hello, trainers. I wish I could battle you. Nope. Okay, keep on moving. Ooh. Oh, that's a different one. Hello. Hello, all the villagers. I have to say hi to all you guys because you look really nice. Hello. Oh, there's a zebra. Zebra. Um, so it looks like there are going to be more spawns. Oh, and there's a Poké Center right there. And I think there's beds in there. I'm not sure, but I think there is. I don't know, maybe. Uh, iron leggings. I'll take the obsidian. Oh, and the bread. Did not see that bread all uh, right away. Um, let's jump over here. Anything in there, guys? I'm coming in. Hello, person from Diamond and Pearl. And hello, person from Emerald, I think. Man, they couldn't get out. They were trapped, and I set them free. Hello, guys. Man, they're going to get owned by these monsters if they try to run out. And I'm not closing any of their doors, so they're going to get owned. Anything in there? Nope. Uh, anything in there? Nope. Ah, a desert. Okay. All right, come on. I got to jump in. Uh, uh, Poké Center. Oh, man, this is very well designed. Personally, I like mine better. <laughs> uh, but that's just because uh, I built it, you know? Obviously, I would have uh, a bias towards my own build rather than somebody else's build. I can use the trade machine to trade nobody. <laughs> I'm so alone. Uh, but I can't heal my Pokémon. Let's heal them. Sweet. Of course, there's no Nurse Joy here, which makes mine automatically better, but there's no bed in here either. But I could probably make a bed if I tear down part of this. I know, it's beautiful, but I'm going to have to tear part of it down. Um, let's tear down this part. We don't need this, technically. So let's go ahead, and I need just one more. And then I obviously have some wood to make it out of. So let's go ahead and get some birch wood out of my backpack, just because that's my most readily available resource um okay let's get the back and let's go and toss that in there 
There we go. And let's go ahead and make myself a crafting bench. Okay. And let's go and place that down. And let's make myself a bed. So, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Now I have a bed. And I'm going to sleep here. No. There are no monsters nearby. You're lying. That's not a monster. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I have to get up here. I got to get up here. Maybe he can't hit me up here. Okay. I got to get my gold sword out. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Gold sword, it's almost dead, too. Come on, let me hit you. Oh! Uh. Oh! What is that? I don't even know what that is. Oh! What's hitting me? Get out of here! No, it's broken. It's broken for real this time. What are you? Oh! My sword, it's down there. Oh, good. Oh, goodness. What am I? What is this? Wait, what is this? Seriously. What am I? Let me go back to myself. Alright, I need some food. Oh, just like that bread that I took. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Uh -huh. Did I kill him? I don't know. I'm scared. Oh, God. Oh, glob. Oh, goodness. Diglett, get off my bed. I have to dig underground. It's the only way to get away from these monsters. Uh. Uh. Okay. Okay, I think this should be far enough down to where I can sleep. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, gosh dang it, did not think of that. Okay, we're good. Uh, okay, we're good. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm safe now. And let's go and take that. Oh! God, his face is right in the wall. Alright, I don't need sand, I don't need this. I'm getting rid of stuff I don't need, by the way. I don't need birch saplings, I have way too many of them. I don't need sand. I don't need iron leggings. I don't need string, I don't need fur. I don't need a hide. I don't need... Uh, I guess I can keep the powdered red dye. I don't need spider eye. Alright, that should be it that I don't need. Okay, I'm gonna try to run out of here. Oh. You should be turning back now. Turn back into a regular person. Oh, jump over the creeper. Oh, God. I made it out of there. I do not know. I'm so glad he teleported. Because if he wouldn't have teleported, then I would have been, like, just stuck up there. Man, that was a great, great idea, by the way, to hide in the bed. To my own horn, but yeah. Oh, okay, let's let's get to this magmar and let's take it on. Whew, that was intense. Okay, let's take this thing on. Oh, you dodged me. Oh my goodness, it's it must be good at dodging. Okay, there we go. And let's go and just do a water pulse. That should be able to... Oh, no. Okay, let's do another water pulse. There we go. Uh, granted, Water Pulse is not that strong, but yeah. Oh, man, I'm not going to cut those down because it's probably just going to lag out my game. And also, it's going to drop way too much wood for me to carry. Er, I guess it would drop normal amount of wood, but I don't need a lot of wood. I really don't. So here's the question. Do I want to continue going through here or do I want to go to the desert? I think I'm going to go with the desert just because I can see the land keep on going, but I don't know. Should I risk it with the desert? Uh, I think I'm going to risk it with the desert. Because that's a jungle. It looks like that jungle uh, stretches back to where I came from. Because I've been going this way. And I don't want to go like right or left. Because then they'll get me off my path. To the legendary shrines. But yeah. I'm going to continue to try training my Pokemon. Uh, like always. I would like to by episode... I think on episode 49... I'll probably do the build, and then episode 50, it'll just be like, I don't know, just something random. Oh, dang it, it does end right here. Wait, what's that over there? Whoa, there's something new. I gotta take it on. Alright, well, let's send out my Blastoise and Water Pulse him. Which will not get him. Let's Water Gun him. There we go. 
30, sweet, almost there. You're almost leveled up, guy. Ah, oh, dang it, missed. There we go. This one should water pulse him. I'm, I'm thinking water pulse one hit. There we go. I love how this is, changes the GUI, too, though. Looks like we got a hay bale, man. Uh, never seen it before. Interesting. Hello, Mr. Hay bale man. Um, okay. I'm gonna take your hay bales. Um, stop me if you don't want me to. Okay, then. I guess I'm gonna take all this hay. I'm gonna bring it home to my horses. So I can put it in their little horse stables. So they can eat hay. Okay. Oh, that was covering a zombie spawner. Ha. Huh. That's what that does. Okay. I was wondering, like, what is this for? For zombie spawning. Hooray. Alright, well, let's go this way to the desert. I know I just said I don't want to go sideways, but I really didn't want to risk it with the jungle. Because jungles usually don't lead to anything. In my professional expertise. Okay. Magmar. I'm going to take you down. Oh, no, you do not do that to me. Uh, let's water pulse him. And I want to get surf, so i got to find a um, a boss one. Sweet, 31, 48, nice. Uh, hello, Flygon. I'm not going to take you on. Oh, you're 48, though. I'm going to take you on. I just went back on my what I said. Oh, wow, that almost killed me. Let me go to Rayquaza, actually. And let's go and do Hyper Voice. Yes, there we go. If I'm ever in trouble, just send out Rayquaza. It's that simple. Wait, should I go this way? Away from my home? Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Am I double backing? I'm doubling back. Oh, dang it. I guess I'm going to have to go through that jungle unless I want to go to the sea. Ah, dang it. Because I don't want to go... Um, west is where I came from. So I want to go east. I want to continue to go east. Wait, is this new? No. I was like... I was tripping out there for a second. I was like, what... What's happening? Yeah, this is not new. Man, that was weird. Okay, yeah, so I want to head east. Because it's heading away. Or, I don't know. Northeast? Or southeast? Whatever. It doesn't really matter. I just want to head in the eastern direction. Because that's away from my house. And this whole journey, I've been going away from it. So, don't want to go back to it now. No, sir. I'm exploring new lands. And that's why there's big trees. Because... This is all new biomes right here. Which is pretty cool. Oh! Monferdo! I would capture you, but you're not the first one. I want Chimchar. I don't want Monferno. Unfortunately. I know I caught Empoleon and I kind of broke that, but Empoleon's pretty much my favorite, so. But if I do find a Piplup, I will catch a Piplup. That is just, like, a fact. But yeah, I would catch Monferno, but he's the second evolution in that chain. Oh, man. I, I, I'm severely sad that it wasn't a chimchar, chimichar, chimch, I don't know how to pronounce it or whatever, how you're supposed to pronounce it, you know, I obviously I can pronounce it however I want, but it may not be the correct way, anyway, and then it's Infernape, no, I'm sorry, and then it's Monferno, and then it's Mon Infernape, oh my gosh, having trouble with my evolutionary chains today, for some reason, but yeah, so anyway, uh, Oh, right. Uh, if everything goes as I'm, as I think it's gonna go, you might notice that there was not a Retro Speed Builds episode yesterday. Or you might not have. That's the main reason that I'm saying this. Um, I'm not gonna have a weekly checkup video this week, so I kinda have to talk about it right now. And I just wanted to say real quick, um, I'm pretty sure- Oh my gosh, another Monferno? I thought that was a Chimchar. Anyway, I'm pretty much, it's almost certain that I'm going to stop doing retro speed builds um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, I know this normally isn't a reason why I would stop a series, but first of all, it's not doing very well on the view charts. It's pretty much my least, least viewed series um, in total. And second of all... I'm not really sure. I keep on wanting to destroy and rebuilding them because, you know, you already see what it looks like. So why would I, you know, do that? 
So it's kind of pointless for me to keep on building because I have no new ideas. Um, then again, that being said, if there is um, if there is a chance where I suddenly get a whole bunch of ideas for things to put in, like if suddenly I just have like this one thing, like oh my gosh, this is a great idea, uh, second season, I can do that. But as of right now, I think I'm gonna stop it. And this isn't completely bad. This is actually kind of good in the sense that, first of all, um, I can put in a new series. And what I mean by that is, like, Wednesday slots will be open now. So I can put in something new, you know? Or I can have another series that, you know, I don't have yet. So, wow, this is a pretty cool... Whoa! Whoa, this is a really cool... I was saying pretty cool... This is an awesome Pokemon Center. This is so cool. This is a bigger one. Oh my goodness, this is cool. Wow, this is a nice find. Fortunately, I don't need to heal my Pokemon. So. Oh, actually, I do. I have to heal Beast Mode. I'll end it off here, actually, too. That This is a good place to end it off in a uh, Pokemon Center. So, yeah, guys. Um, I know this. I should talk about it a little bit more, but as of right now, no more Retro Speed Builds. So, yeah. That's the sh long and short of it. So, yeah, guys. Um, if you have enjoyed, please leave a rating. I would very much appreciate it. Uh, next time, I'll be continuing to look for the legendary shrines and training my Pokemon at the same time. So hopefully by the time episode 50 comes around, I'll have a boss team that will consist of pretty good Pokemon. So yeah, guys. As always, hope you're having a great day, and I will talk to you all later. See ya.